Welcome to GTC 2024. In this video, I am going to give a, a recap and just kind of my impressions of the keynote by Jensen Wang, the CEO of NVIDIA. These keynotes are just getting better and better. This reminds me of, and I'll show my age a bit here, but Steve Jobs, when he would take the scene at a at a Dove conference and just such such a presence. Uh, NVIDIA, I believe, has gone way, way beyond beyond that. I hope you realize this is not a concert. <laughs> you have arrived at a developer's conference. But let's talk about this year. So they started out with the usual IMAI narration, and it was just absolutely amazing as usual. I am a visionary. The AI was used to create this, just like in times before, but you really see the generative AI capabilities now, where it's a text interaction going going on with the AI to help guide it. And that really was through the whole G the whole keynote this time. You definitely saw generative AI taking on a much, much larger role, obviously, than it ever has in the past. Oh, and by the way, I am giving away, thank you, NVIDIA, a GeForce RTX 4080 Super. This is an amazing GPU that I will be sending off to uh, to, to to one of you. Uh, U.S. shipping only, unfortunately. But look at the linked video that I have in the description to find out how to participate in this very exciting giveaway. For me, a highlight is always the new GPU hardware, and they did not disappoint this time with Blackwell. And so, 1,000 years, 1,000 years. So what we need, what we need are bigger GPUs. We need much, much bigger GPUs. So they show this really, really good video of how this breaks together. They have two dies that are in the same GPU. This gives you the individual Blackwell GPU which is sort of the foundation of the system. And they show how they just scale this up into a bigger and bigger system, eventually ending at the data center. Because now you can then combine two of those with a Grace CPU, really building upon this as they get it to the large data center scale that you need to truly train these foundational models. So you get it to the single board, which Jensen holds up later, and then that gets it into the individual sort of, this looks like a, maybe a 1U unit on a, on a rack. And they're also dealing with the individual, with how they're able to communicate together, because there's been considerable advances in the NVLink. And then they combine more and more of these together. They show this just gradually building up as they go into larger systems, always dealing with like the NVLink switch that is really at the heart of this, allowing these computers to, uh, to connect. They also mention how one of these supercomputers really actually has more than the aggregate bandwidth of the entire internet. And as they build it up now to like a single system that you might, um, utilize in uh, in a corporate data center showing the uh, the the quantum link that that connects it to the others that finally builds this this unit that they show here and then they show the under the floor uh, connections as well basically bringing this this larger node sort of unit together which is in and of itself a supercomputer then expanding this to literally to the entire data center. So Jensen was very clear about mentioning that, that basically they need bigger GPUs. And of course, the GPU that you can hold in your hand, but then just showing how these grow up to the much, much bigger systems. Thank you for watching and make sure that you register for the the, the, the ongoing conference and Watch all of these exciting uh, 
sessions, I'm going to certainly have some further coverage and enter the giveaway. See you soon.